डोर बंद कर देना था बेटा السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین الصلاۃ والسلام علی اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین وعلى آله واصحابه اجمعین اللهم اجعلنا منهم من الذین آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر آمین یا رب العالمین ثم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي ربي زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما اللهم ثبتنا عند الموت بلا اله الا الله امين يا رب العالمين so inshallah today our topic is maful al hal and uh, we know that this is a kind of uh, maful right so when we have jumla fail here uh, then we have uh, fail file and uh, maful right and there are uh, many different kinds of maful one of them is maful al hal so maful al hal is basically it gives the answer of how how and this is the same like uh, um maful mutlaq and maful li ajlihi right they also uh, no sorry maful li ajlihi give the ask uh, give the answer of why but maful mutlaq is uh, kind of uh, give the answer of how but uh, how they are different they are different uh, uh, in this way that uh, maful mutlaq would be giving us the um, description of action how action is happening but uh, maful ul hal uh, is uh, gives the condition of uh, someone it's not regarding action rather it is someone it could be our ism file or ism a fool so and that is the difference so basically it it, um, it uh, tells us the condition of uh, uh, someone so that would be maful ul hal and maful ul mutlaq when it uh, something is describing the action that would be our um, maful ul mutlaq then and uh, uh, maful ul hal is uh, answer for the question of how and often translated as an adverb okay so quickly or uh, hurriedly or uh, um, like uh, adverb uh, we gonna translate them as uh, adverb when there is a uh, maful ul hal over there and I, as i said that maful ul hal could be about uh, ism file or ism maful and what are ism file and ism maful we know that ism file is uh, in our uh, conjugation uh, we did with all these families so ism file is the one who uh, who is the doer of the action right and ism maful is the receiver of the action or done to or the object right so these are uh, uh, some uh, example over here of ism file and ism maful and i am uh, hoping that we are alhamdulillah all good with that there was some a uh, few mistakes in the form so it says family 2 over here uh, uh, sorry it says family 3 um, but it was family 2 so i just fixed a few things over here okay and then uh it says over here even the ism file is the doer and ism maful is done to and maful ul hal and maful mutlaq usually sorry maful lahu and maful mutlaq is usually a master but maful ul hal usually 
isam file or isam a fool. So uh, that is the difference we can keep in our mind. Then I put an example over here um, that daraba uh, hamidun waladahu darban shadidan. So Daraba, we know this is our Felun Madin, Failuhu Hua. Hamidun is our outside doer, right? So Hamid is the one who hit. He, uh, he hit who? Waladahu, his child. Durban Shadidan. So now you guys tell me what this Durban is describing. Is that describing Hamid or Walada or Daraba? So it is describing Daraba, it is describing the action, right? So in this case, we're gonna call that Maful Mutlak. In uh, next example, it says Ja'a Waladun. So a child came, Dahikan. So now this Dahikan means smiling or Bakian means crying. So now this uh, Dahikan, da is that talking about Waladun or about Ja'a? Ja'a is action, right? So he came, so it is not describing action. If it was describing action, it should be Sayan or something like that. So he uh, came running. So when we say running, so then it is describing the action, right? But over here, it's not describing the action, rather it's describing the condition of Waladun. Uh, crying, right? So that would be mafulul hal. So we need to just kind of think uh, deeply to figure it out because sometimes we will be confused between maful mutlak and mafulul hal. Uh, but uh, Arab books can help us out. And sometimes, you know, they take it as a both. So uh, inshallah, and that will not be a problem if we and get the concept. So now Hal, I describe the condition of the subject, object at the time of the action. Extra, uh, so these are basically extra word. Hal is something extra without its sentence will still uh, make sense. Must be mansoop. So our Hal is always uh, need to be mansoop must be nakira mean it it should be common okay it's not proper it's always common and the thing it is uh, describing would call sahibul hal so basically when we say hal we need two things we need sahibul hal and we need hal sahibul hal comes before and hal comes after and uh, hal is basically describing the sahibul hal and it will be marifa meaning it will be proper okay so these are the things about hal so now let's see uh, okay so mafulul hal i just kind of uh, um, put few things over here so uh, as i said that mafulul hal would be uh, consist of two things so we will have sahibul hal and we will have hal. So hal will be a commonism. It can be mufrid. Mufrid mean it can be one word, right? Or it can be jumla ismi and jumla failure. And hal will refer back to a pronoun. Okay, so this sahibul hal can be a pronoun. And, uh, that, uh, and we call this pronoun ayd. Aid mean the one that is going back. Ada yaudu, ada mean uh, returning or going back. So from that is uh, some file I Aid. Uh, so we will have a pronoun which we can call Aid, and uh, but uh, this is not uh, uh, the case for every time. There are always exception. So sometimes we're gonna find Aid. Sometimes we're gonna find a pronoun that is referring back, this hal is referring back to this pronoun and sometimes it will not be there. Then hal should match in a number and gender with the uh, ayd. Okay, so if ayd is uh, singular, then uh, this hal should be uh, singular. 
if i this uh, dual then hal should be dual so this is how they gonna match in number and gender but again uh, there is always exception and we will see in uh, uh, today's uh, lesson that uh, there are so many cases when we do not see any i over there and then uh, it says uh, so they are going to match in uh, number and gender but if hal is a master meaning and that is possibility too we were saying that uh, hal is supposed to be uh, describing is some file or is some of all but sometimes it gonna be master over there remember uh, the aya we were doing in surat nos so mainni da autu hum jiharan right so jiharan is master and uh, this jiharan is describing the state of uh, hazrat nu al islam so the ana over here it is describing so this is the hal for ana so that is possibility then it does not conform according to the sahibul hal so if it is master then it's not going to match in number and gender uh, it doesn't matter anymore so when hal is jumla ismiya it mostly starts with waw haliya so we will see that in examples jumla failia even when hal is jumla failia then we gonna see sometimes starting with kad or sometimes waqad and sometimes nothing just uh, jumla failia starting itself without uh, all these uh, words then hal can describe the state of an is some file is some of all nai file mubtada even khabar master or sifa mushabba so basically it can describe anything okay and then what about sahibul hal sahibul hal need to be proper so <clears throat> hal is common right and sahibul hal is always proper so type is gone so they cannot match in type right and then uh, uh, But, uh, uh, what about uh, sorry status so now status hal is uh, they are uh, it's mansub right and sahibul hal can be anything so that means they are not going to match in status either so what is left behind on, only gender and number so sometimes they're going to match in number and gender and sometime it doesn't matter even okay so and then it says it can be explicit meaning we we, we would be able to see uh, in the sentence uh, the sahibul hal and sometimes implicit meaning we we need to figure it out and maybe it, it, it is a pronoun inside the fail okay so it's not uh, uh, visible but uh, we know that okay inside the fail there is always uh, a pronoun so that pronoun can be as sahibul hal then it can be attached pronoun with a uh, file or uh, mafulun bihi or a pronoun inside the fail okay so let's see some examples now so now hal the uh, sahibul hal can be explicit or implicit uh, look over here wa'da allahu so wa'da is failun madin failuhu huwa and then uh, when it is hua our outside doer could be outside right so the uh, word allah is outside doer over here so this is our file so allah has promised promised to al mu'minina so this is our maful wal mu'minati so now wow ataf came so they are connected uh, jannatin now what is this jannatin so allah subhanahu wa taala promised to these believers so they are mafulun bihi and then what did he promise jannatin so this is another mafulun bihi right and then jannatin this is our uh, uh, commonism right so after commonism you can have uh, so that uh, can be our atajri min tahti hal anharu is our sifa for jannatin right and then khalidina fiha they will remain in it forever so now what is this khalidina fiha khalidina what kind of word is it 
this is Khalidun, which is like Fa'ilun, right? So this is family one, Khalada, Yakhludu, and then Khaldan um, uh, and Fahua, Khalidun. So Khalidun and then Khaliduna and Khalidina. So this is Nasab in status, right? And uh, how many Khalidina is that singular, dual, or plural? This is plural, right? So this is our home. And now, Khalidina uh, fiha is basically the hal. So these believer are uh, going to stay in it forever, right? So this mu'minina, now what pronoun? If we are looking for the ayat, so um, and this Khalidina uh, uh, has whom in it. So what about Mu'minina? Does it has whom in it? Yes, it does, right? And Khalidina uh, is uh, masculine. Is Mu'minina masculine? Yes, it is. So uh, number and uh, gender are matching over here. And the pronoun whom uh, uh, in this whom is kind of uh, um, uh, going back to this Khalidina, right? So number and gender are matching over here. So this is the example of Khalidina Fiha, and this is uh, explicit. We can see this uh, al muminina wal muminati over here, right? Now in the second example, <coughs> Fakharaja. So Fakharaja, what do we know about this word? Fa is we know this is a tough, right? And kharaja is felun madin, failuhu, hua. So fakharaja, he left minha from it. So this is talking about Hazrat Musa al-Islam when he was uh, leaving uh, Egypt when accident happened, right? So fakharaja minha khaifan. So now uh, he left. He left how? Khaifan. So this hyphen is basically hal, right? And uh, why it is not maful mutlak? Because it is not describing the action, rather it is uh, uh, describing the condition of hua over here, right? So, and hyphen has hua in it, right? So this is singular. So they are kind of matching, but this hua is not visible to our eyes. Right, so that's why we are gonna call that this is implicit over here. So fakhara jaminha so uh, so he left uh, the town fearfully and fearfully. So this is kind of we are uh, translating it as a uh, adverb, even though khaifan uh, mean the one who is fearful. Right, so it is like uh, uh, fearer we should say, right? But whenever is some file is over there as a hal, <clears throat> then mostly it is going to be described as a uh, adverb, okay? Because uh, in English, we don't have any choice. We, otherwise, it's not gonna make sense, right? So he left uh, the town fear fully, we can say. Any questions so far? Is it ma making sense to you guys? Okay, so moving on. Now let's see some example. Mafulul hal as a jumla failure. So when we will have jumla failure as a hal, then uh, that is going to be order. So we're gonna have fail. We can have file or maful over there. And then we're gonna have our hal. And this hal is uh, dis gonna describe either our file or is some of all whatever is present over there. And that is also called zuhal or sahibul hal, whatever you wanna call it. And we already know that uh, it is uh, uh, our sahibul hal is going to be proper, but our hal is going to be common and it is always going to be mansub. <clears throat> Okay, let's see some example over here. One kalabu sawirin. 
So one qalabu mean they returned. So they returned. So this is our felun uh, madin failuhu hum. And this is our family, the family seven, right? So one qalabu, they left, they returned. So Irene. So now one qalabu, we have whom over here, right? And then so Irene, so Iruna, so Irina, so Irina. It is also plural, right? So they are kind of this whom is our basically uh, sahibul hal. And so Irin is the hall, and this is some file, right? So this is some file coming as a hall. Okay, then next one we have Kumu Lillahi Qanitin. So Kumu, um, uh, this is Amar, right? So Kumu, Fil Amar, Failuhu Antum. And uh, so you all stand up. Lillahi for Allah Qanitin. Now, what kind of word is Qanitin? So Qani Tun. Qani Tun, Qanitan, Qanitin, and Qanitani, Qanitaini, Qanitaini, and then Qani Tuna, Qanitina, right? So this is our ism file. So, and Qanitin is like completely submissive. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us that you all should stand up in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or for Allah as a submissor, submiss uh, yeah, submissor, right? But uh, uh, when we are translating, we're going to say stand up submissively, right? So we're going to um, translate as a uh, kind of master way or adverb, right? So this is our, and again, kumu has antum in it, right? And kanitin has a plural, right? So they are kind of matching in number. So this is how it gonna work. And then for min ha khaifan, we already uh, saw that example. So this is how uh, jumla, uh, uh, in jumla failure, the hal gonna look like. Okay, then uh, example of hal and sahibul hal matching in number and gender. So, ja'at talibu dahikan. So, one student came laughing. I put over here sayan over here. Why? Uh, I want to show you that uh, if it was maful mutlaq, then it should uh, have some something uh, describing the action, right? So he came running. Then we can say yes, this is uh, uh, this uh, is maful mutlak. Uh, but uh, dahikan is basically describing the hall of that student. <clears throat> and then talibu is hua. Dahikan is singular, so they are kind of matching. Talibu is. Uh, um, um, masculine and dahikan is masculine. Then ja'at talibani dahikaini. So again, now these are the example of dual, right? So then ja'at tulabu dahikina. So this is the example of plural over here. Then this is the example of uh, uh, feminine. Ja'at talibatu dahikatan, right? So this is uh, uh, feminine. Then Ja'at Talibatani. So now two female student and Dahikataini. Ja'at Talibatu Dahikatin. Right? So uh, this is example how they're going to match in number and gender. But this is again not the case every time. There are always exceptions, and we will see. Uh, that most of the time they are not matching in number and gender. Uh, as then we see that uh, in Jumla Ismiya, so Hal can be Jumla Ismiya or Jumla failure, right? So when it is Jumla Ismiya, then we will see some kind of connector, uh, maybe in the form of Vau Halia, right? We heard that term. So some vow will come 
And uh, after this vow, the whole sentence would be uh, like a hall of something. So now when we have Jumla Ismiya, we will have Zuhal or Sahibul Hal. Then we will have this vow connector or vow halia, and then we're gonna have hal, and this hal gonna be our jumla ismiya. It can have mubtada khabar, and uh, we're gonna label it as a jumla halia. Then we have uh, if uh, it is jumla failia, so again we can have uh, this uh, rabit, the ayat, or the connector, and it can be a pronoun or it can be just a, a fail madi or fail mudaria over here. And if it is fail madi, we said that uh, there is possibility of uh, having kad over here, kad or wakad gonna be over there. So in Jumla failia, yeah, we will have zuhal or sahibul hal. And then we have hal, which is going to be our Jumla failia. Yeah. And we are going to have a rabid or a connector or ayat which is going to have uh, some kind of pronoun. And that will uh, also label a jumla halia then. So now let's see some examples. Uh, it says, ja atil akhavatu yad hapna. Now akhavatu is what? Hunna, right? So the sisters came, yad hapna, and how they were, uh, what is their state? They were laughing. So this hunna, and Yad Hakna has uh, Hunna, so basically they are matching, right? And uh, uh, so they are, uh, how they are uh, co uh, corresponding to each other with the Damir, with the pronoun. And then how sometimes we're gonna have a vow as a uh, connector. So Dakhal to Makkata, I enter Makkah, Vashamsu Tagurubu. So was Shamsu, there is, uh, there should be seen instead of Shane, okay. So uh, was Shamsu, now wow came over here and what kind of wow is that? Vowel Halia. So I enter Makkah while the sun was uh, rising up. Oh no, sorry, the sun was uh, um, uh, setting, right? So now, see that uh, the khaltu has ana in it, right? And we don't see any pronoun washamsu tagorobu going back to ana, right? It is not describing Makkah, right? It is describing me, how I enter uh, the city, right? So, but there is no um, uh, 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 the mirror over here. Rather, this wow is over here. And this, uh, the whole sentence is uh, halia over here. And uh, again, who is Sahibul Hal? Sahibul Hal is Ana over here. But they are not uh, uh, corresponding in that way, right? So they are not matching in uh, uh, a number or whatever because uh, this is uh, Jumla Ismiya, right? So how are we gonna uh, make, make it match with the uh, number or uh, gender or anything, right? So this is gonna be happen when we are having Jumla uh, Ismiya. And this is the example of having Mawhalia. And then sometimes you're gonna have pronoun and Mawhalia both present over there. So over here, Raja, uh, uh, Raja Atullabu. So the student returned Wahum Mutbaun. Uh, and what were their condition that they were really following who whoever was the leader they were following their leader and they returned right so now tulabu has whom in it and then we have whom over here so they are perfectly going back to each other and then wow, we have wow too right so that's gonna happen Sometimes you're gonna see the mir and vow both present, and sometimes just vow present, and sometimes just the mir is pre uh, present over there. <clears throat> so now let's see some example of uh, uh, again jumla uh, failure. So haraju, so haraju failun madin failuhu hum, and then min diarihim, our jar majroor. 
and uh, our mudafi lahi rahi so they uh, exited from their houses wahum ulufun hazar al maut right so uh, that is uh, i think surah uh, bakra so now the wahum ulufun basically this is uh, our wow uh, halia so this is telling that um, like they were in uh, thousands they were in um, uh, like big number right so this is describing basically whom so we have uh, whom over here and uh, then we have wow halia and this whom is uh, going back to whom over here so and so now this is the example of having the mir and wow both present over there the next example ya yuhallazina amanu la taqrabu salata so believers do not go even close to salah wa antum sukara so now taqrabu we have antum right and then we have antum over here and we have wow too so again this is the example when we have uh, wow and the mir both present over there hatta ta'lamu ma taqulun until you know what you are saying wala junubun so this is another jumla um, haliya starting over here wala junubun and uh, while you are not in the state of purity then it says kayfa takfuruna billahi how you can deny allah wa kuntum amwatan so takfuruna has antum right and then we have kuntum which has antum in it so now we have wow over here and we have the mir both are uh, going back to our sahibul hal wa kuntum amwatan while you were uh, dead fa ahyakum then we have given you life summa yumitukum then we will make you um, die summa yuhyikum then again we will give you life summa ilayhi turjaun and towards him is uh, you are going to be returned so i hope it is making sense to you guys any question so far wait am i have one question mm -hmm. so does um the mean refer to both like uh the pronoun and the verb mm, the mere pro the mere is itself pronoun so what is your question No, no, no. I'm unsure to what you mean by the mean in this case. Like, like you begin with a pronoun. With a pronoun. Yeah. So we need to see that, uh, uh, like, for example, in, in this uh, uh, example, Raja Atulabu. So Atulabu is that singular or dual or plural? Atulab is uh, plural, right? Yeah. So basically, if it is plural, then it has kind of whom in it. right because this is masculine so it has whom in it and then if we see this whom over here so that means this perfectly we can say that yes this is the hall of the lab uh, okay and one more question so and in the first amir so the pronoun is essentially hidden in the and yet yet hak na yeah this one is hidden yes so but we know that yad uh, yad hakna has hunna in it right and we know that akhawatu has hunna they are plural right so yeah. basically we can see that yes they are matching in um, a pronoun so they are uh, uh, corresponding properly in as a pronoun of, uh, with each other okay thank you yeah why well, yeah. okay so then uh is some that can play the role of hal so as we said that is some uh, basically hal can be anything uh, hal can be ism file it can be some a fool ism mubalga sifatul uh, sifatul mushabba or it can be master sometimes or it can be some jamid and what is ism jamid ism jamid is an ism from which neither we can derive any word nor it is uh, derived from any so it's not surfable uh, ism ism jamid okay uh, the example is of ism uh, jamid is uh, laysa right 
So Laysa is, is, is some Jamid. We don't have Mudaria for that, right? So the, uh, even Isam Jamid can be sometimes playing a role of Hal. Then uh, Master as a Hal does not uh, correspond in number or gender. So let's see some example over here. Ya yuhallazina amanu udukulu. So now, O believers, udhulu, you all enter. So this is a command, right? So what is the pronoun in Udhulu? Antum, right? So this is Antum. So you all enter Fisilmi in the, in the Silm, in the Islam, in the peace. Kafatan. Completely, right? So now Kafatan is Master. So when we have Master, then we, we won't be able to match them, match uh, um, to our Sahibul Hal in uh, number or gender. Kafatan, we can see that, okay, it uh, has Tamar Guta over there, right? So uh, it, uh, it is feminine, but Udhulu uh, is not feminine, it is Antum, right? So basically, uh, then when it, we have master, then number and gender is not going to matter at all. So we need to ignore that. So we're gonna just look uh, 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 if it is describing uh, our uh, uh, fail or whatever we sahibul hal we have as a, it is. So then we're gonna just take it as a hal over there. So kafatan basically is the hal of uh, antum that uh, uh, the command is the, for the believers that you all enter uh, uh, with the submissiveness completely. Then second example, vaqatilu. So again, this is a command, right? So you all fight. You all fight al mushrikina to the mushrikeen, to the you know, idolaters. Kafatan. Again, kafatan, right? So fight against uh, mushrikeen, kafatan over here meaning uh, collectively, all of them together. So again, katilu is antum. So we don't have to worry about uh, number or gender. But we know that uh, the uh, Kaaf Fatan is uh, um, uh, kind of uh, uh, giving the description of uh, uh, how we should fight, right? So Katilu, you all fight. This is Antum. So basically, this is the hall of Antum over here. Kama yu Katilu na kum Kaaf Fatan. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, fight uh, with the idolaters collectively, kama as you, you qatilunakum, they fight you kafatan collectively. So uh, this is basically one ayah. So again, the same thing over here. Wama kanal mu'minuna li yanfiru kafatan. So ma kana and li. So this is a kind of template, ma, kana, and then li. So ma, kana, li, whenever you see uh, this template, basically it is uh, translated as, uh, it does not suit you, it does not befit you. So in many example in Quran, Pak, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, wa ma, kana, li, nabiyin, it does not suit a nabi that he does a uh, uh, few things he mentioned over there, right? So uh, then ma kana, uh, mu'minuna over here, it is saying that it does not defeat uh, believers. Li yanfiru kafatan. So li yanfiru over here means it is not proper or befit for the believers to go out uh, for jihad altogether meaning they should not go all together and attack because what's going to happen if uh, 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 like uh, uh, maybe uh, they can all be killed, right? 
so that's why it is kind of a command that we need to use a proper strategies and uh, we need to you know, like go in groups so we should have some backup plans right so basically this is the uh, command over here uh, given so wama kana li mu'minina li yanfiru kafadan because we need to take uh, precautions so uh, over here li yanfiru has whom in it right so it is not proper for the believers to go out so this is um in in nafara nafara is the verb over here nafara yanfiru so this is whom over here and uh, kafa is our uh, master over here so uh, then it not gonna match in number and gender anymore right then it says over here fa iza qadaytum as-salata so when qadaytum as-salata the salah is finished fazkurullah then you all do zikr so this is our antum over here qiyaman so you all remember allah qiyaman while you are standing qawudan or sitting wa ala junubikum or on your side so this is uh, uh, the aya of uh, uh, i think this is uh, when salatul khauf was given to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam during the war how they need to pray so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, he gave uh, the whole uh, process how they need to pray uh, salatul khauf uh, so but when they are done salatul khauf allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, then you going to keep remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all the all these uh, positions meaning like uh, yes you are done salah and that is very short salatul khauf right and there is particular way to do it so you are done but uh, and then you going to just do some extra uh, zikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every position while you are standing sitting or on your side whatever right so now fazkurullah has antum in it right fazkurullah you remember allah how qiyaman so this is our uh, hall over here waqudan and then waw came so this is our ataf and uh, again so this is basically uh, this is all our uh, hall over here so again it has antum over here and qiyaman is master so uh, we are unable to see any matching over here uh, then same thing is over here fakulu minha haisu shitum ragadan so fakulu so you all uh, eat so this is a command minha uh, is uh, ha is referring to the town this is aya um, when bani israel asked hazrat musa alaihi salam that uh, they want uh, to grow all these kind of uh, vegetables and have their own food instead of manu salwa so that was the command given to him to them that you need to enter a town or city they were given that enter it and haisu and wherever shitum uh, you wish ragadan eat freely wadkhulu but what was the condition wadkhulu you all enter baba sujadan so this sujadan is nasab right so and uh, uh, that is uh, like describing that how they should enter how you enter wadkhulu is our antum right so this antum how you enter while you are in the state of prostration so you are doing sajda uh, literally and you are entering the door so this sujadan is our hall over here then kind of same uh, um, like uh, yeah same words but in in a different aya warafana fawqahum mutura bi me saqihim wa qulna lahum and we told them udkhulul baba sujadan so basically same thing over here and then ma kana lil mushrikina so this is uh, 
اسم فائل ایز اے حال سو ماں کانا لل مشرقین سو سی سیم ماں کانا اینڈ لی سو دیٹ ڈز ناٹ بی فٹ ڈس بلیورس اور مشرقین کفر and uh, even their soul their actions and everything is uh, uh, being witness of their kufar and they are taking your care of uh, masajid so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, that doesn't be fit so it's not for the mushrikeen to maintain the masajid of allah while so uh, whenever you see while in the translation then and this is the clue that uh, Uh, this is our hall over here while they uh, witness against themselves for disbelief so shahidina so this is our ism file over here and, uh, um, and this is uh, basically hall over here so shahidina has whom in it right shahidina has whom and ayamuru has whom right so the uh, and shahidina is uh, masculine and yamuru is uh, whom is masculine over here okay then wa wa may you walli him yawmaizin duburahu illa mutaharrifan li li qitalin aw mutahayyizin ila fiyatin so this is uh, basically uh, i are talking about uh, uh, how Uh, like we uh, a believer should be in during the w- war so it says and whoever turns his back to them so them is uh, basically enemies on such a day unless it is uh, some uh, strategy of the war so basically allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that once you are fighting with uh, with the enemies then you cannot turn your back so basically um, we should not take it literally that we cannot turn our back we can turn our back uh, meaning that we we are not turning away from fighting rather we can turn our back when if it is basically we are taking um, uh, some turn or may, may, maybe going to help someone else they are in need right or maybe some other area like they used to fight in groups right so you are done with the group and now maybe you need uh, the other group need your help right to fight right so in that uh, uh, case you can turn obviously so over here uh, now waman so man is who i need waman you will lay him and whoever turn your maizin dubu rahu الا متحرفا so what kind of word is متحرفا so we have mu and then hari right so mu and e is a, always is some file over here so this is is some file like italian so it has who i in it right and then you only has who i in it so basically this is uh, our hal then and uh, and then aw came aw we know this is a connector so mutahayizan again u and e this is our is some file uh, ila fiatin so basically again this is the next part over here or to retreat to a troop of his own so if you are retreating to another group then it is allowed that yes you can take a turn but uh, not uh, turn in a way that you are running away or fleeing away from the uh, uh, war or from the battle so basically that was it and then this is the example of uh, uh, sifa mushabba what is sifa mushabba we know that uh, in family 1 there are some uh, special guest right 
سو استفا مشبا صفا مبالغ اینڈ اسم اعلیٰ رائٹ سو دیز تھنگس آر اونلی وی کین ڈیرائیو فروم فیملی ون سو صفا مشبا کین بی ہال ٹو سو ان دس ایگزامپل یا 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 سو دس از اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ ٹاکنگ ٹو حضرت یا علیہ السلام خزل کتابہ سو یو ٹیک دس ٹیک دا بک بی قواتین قوا مین لائک ود کوا وی ان وی انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ جسٹ اٹس ناٹ فزیکلی اونلی دیٹ یو ٹیک اٹ اسٹرانگلی رادر یو اسٹے اسٹیڈ فاسٹ آن دس بک رائٹ سو دا امپلیکیشن اپلائنگ آن دس بک از آلسو امپلیمنٹیڈ ان بی قواتین وا تئی نا ہو and we have given him so this who al hukma was uh, hukma sabian so we gave him hukma hukma mean um, like wisdom and sabian so sabian i wrote uh, over here basically this is family one sabba ya sibu sabban and then sabiban Sabiban is on the pattern of fa'ilun, right? Fa'ilun, and you should always remember the word rahimun. So rahim is sifatul uh, mushabba. So uh, this uh, sabiyan is basically on this pattern, sabiyan. Uh, and actually it was sabiban. Okay, since uh, this is uh, mudaf um, and the uh, ayn and lam kalima are same, right? So it gonna conjugate differently. So this is sabiban and from sabiban it become sabiyan. So basically this is isam uh, ushabba pattern and, uh, and sabiyan is uh, basically a child and uh, it says that uh, up to three years old only. So Hazrat Yahya al-Islam was three years old when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, like uh, talking about him that uh, he given him uh, hikmah and uh, the book. Uh, so Sabiyan over here is our hal for uh, this huwa and this huwa and this uh, um, like uh, who is uh, our sahib ul-hal over here. And this is our hal. Okay, then uh, this is the example of isam maful. Wala taj'al yadaka maghlulatan. Beautiful ayah, it is uh, telling us uh, uh, on spending. So this is the command on how we need to spend. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَلَا تَجْعَلْ يَدَكَ do, uh, op- um, uh, do not make your hands مَغْلُولَةً مَغْلُول uh, is like uh, tied up, logged. إِلَىٰ عُنُوكِكَ on your neck. So do not make your hand chained to your neck. So uh, like, you know, when your hands are chained on your neck, So what gonna happen? Can you get to your pocket? No, not at all, right? So basically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, don't be that stingy that you never spend. وَلَا تَبْسُتْحَ كُلَّ الْبَسْتِ And uh, neither extend it completely uh, that you كُلَّ uh, بَسْتَتِ So don't, or, uh, sorry, um, And neither you like spend crazy, right? So you don't uh, have anything left with you, basically. Kullul basti, like uh, you just spend completely. So whatever you have, you are always spending. And uh, at the end of uh, a month, you are always uh, like a broken person, right? So don't be like that. Fataku uda malumam mahsura. If you do that, taquda is from qada, right? So you will be sitting maluman. Maluman is like the one who is blameworthy 
and mahsuran is like uh, we know this word from hasra uh, in uh, urdu we say hasrat what is hasrat like uh, we are uh, uh, kind of regretting on something right so do not be like that um, uh, you are uh, like if you are spending too much then what gonna happen you're gonna be very uh, regretful so don't be in that uh, position so again over here fattaqu uda maluma mahsura this is uh, mafu uh, ism maful and uh, this is coming as a hal over here and maluma mahsuran is uh, um, yeah this is, they are ism maful right so over here it says uh, Uh, yeah, and if you remember our last class, kull al basti, we uh, learned that um, full mutlak. Whenever we have kull um, baada uh, jamian, right? These kind of words, they are they can be um, full mutlak, right? After that, if they have uh, some ism, and we have kind of uh, matching verb with that, right? So basta. Over here, and then tab so the same root letter, right? So this is the perfect ex example for uh, our uh, and maful uh, mutlak over here. And then uh, about this fa, why it is fataku uh, uda? It's supposed to be fataku udu because this is mudaria, right? So uh, this fa sabbiya, and basically it has. Uh, uh, mudaria mansub uh, an is mudmara over here and this an is making uh, it mansub right so far so we know that i think we did uh, in surat munafikun we did that fa aswadaka wa akum min aswalihin right so fa aswadaka so what was making this uh, aswadaka mansub this uh, Fa, this an was making it. And then maluman mahsuran, this is halan, meaning both are hal. Okay, so then we have some more example. Is anyone who gonna, um, who can do it? Okay, maybe we can take turns and see how much uh, you get it. So, wala tamshi fil ardi maraha, who can do that? Uh, kind of uh, uh, we can see that which one is hal even though everything is written over here so i'm gonna just see that uh, if you guys are getting it um, and we can see that uh, where um, we see the proper uh, like uh, corresponding happening between hal and sahibul hal and where it is missing so let's see who can do that one walatam she filler the maraha uh, can I try, Sister Rahat? Yeah, sure. Okay. Wow is Atifa. La mm -hmm. uh, Nahia. Mm -hmm. Tamshi. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Tamshi. Yeah, so basically this is Amar. And how it, it is Madzum? Because this is, this is how it's going to look like. Masha is the uh, verb. Masha. Masha Yamshi. is the verb. Yeah, masha yamshi, and when mm -hmm. we it comes to tamshi, it's supposed to be like that tam shi, right? And tam -shi. Uh, we can drop that one, right? Oh, okay. So, yeah, so this is how it become tamshi over here. So this is fail amar failu anta. Failul amar failu anta fil ardi m b k. And Maro or F? Oh, MBF because MBF. of Tamshi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Marohan is uh, Hal. Yes. What kind of Hal is that? Some file. What kind of word is Maraha? I think this is uh, Master. Master. So that means uh, it doesn't matter if it is matching in number or gender, right? So right. Tamshi was Anta, right? Mm hmm. And Maraha is master, so uh, basically uh, it's not going to match uh, in anything. 
So number and gender is not matter anymore when it is master. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically it is saying that do not walk on, in earth while you are very in pride or boastful or uh, like uh, in uh, Urdu we say itrate hue, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so maraha. Uh, and whenever we have master, then translation should be like a uh, like a adverb, right? So do not walk on the earth boastfully, right? So this is how it is. Okay, anyone else want to try? Tadunaha tadaruan wa kufiyatan. That is very interesting, actually, over here. So, tadunahu. So, tadunahu. What kind of uh, word is it? Madare. Sorry? Madare. <laughs> yeah. So, fail madare. Madare on failuhu. Anta. 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 Tadunahu. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this is fail on madare on failuhu. Antum. And then who is our Mufulun Bihi over here, right? So you all call him, right? Tadaruan, Tadaruan with humility, with humbleness, Wahufiatan and quietly. So now uh, you will see in Arab book that they're gonna say this Tadaruan can be Muful Mutlak too. Okay, so maful mutlak and maful hal, both possibilities are over here. And um, I put over here, tadunahu duaan tadaruan. So basically we can say that this duaan is mahsoof over here. Remember that when we have uh, uh, like a uh, mosuf sifa fragment in that situation, and uh, our mosuf is not present, then this tadarruan is naib anil master, right? I think that was our, uh, when we were doing a full mutlaq, we did that. Even uh, the ayah we are doing in Surat No, summa inni da'au tuhum du'a an jiharan, right? So that is the concept over here. Tadruna hu, so you all call him tadarruan so that can be our maful mutlak if we are taking as a maful mutlak we're gonna think that dua an is over here and this tadarruan is naib anil master for that and uh, the other way if we are taking it as a hal so tadunahu basically this is antum over here so you call him how tadarruan while you are uh, in humility, wakufiyatan and quietly. So both ways fine. And the same kind of same concept over here. Uh, so this is again Amar. Uh, you all call Rabbakum your Rabb tadarruan wakufiyatan inna hu la yuhibbul mutadin. So basically same concept over here. And then even over here, Wala Tufsidu Fil Ardi Bada Islahiha Waduhu Khaufan Watamaan. So I wrote over here, uh, put over here Waduhu Khaufan Watamaan. So basically, Khaufan Watamaan Mansubani Alal Hal. So both are Mansub on Hal. Oh, and how we gonna take it as a Khaifina. So basically, when we have master, uh, but uh, we should know that maful uh, hal is basically supposed to be isam file or isam maful. So then we're gonna think that uh, them as a khaifina and tamiina. Khaifina mean the one who has fear and tamiina like who have tama. Tama mean like uh, hope or. Uh, uh, yeah, Tama, sometimes we can take it in a negative way like lalach or greed, but uh, over here it's not, it's more like a hope. 
so they call allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with hope and fear we know when we are making dua we always have these two things in it so we have fear of allah and at the same time we have the hope from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay next one inna anzalna that is very easy aya so let's see who can question yeah this right is this wow is the other fear the durr and waqfiyah is this wow right here is this just an utter yeah this is motufun alaya this is ataf this is not wow haliya okay okay this is uh, basically tadarruan and khufiyatan they are uh, uh, having uh, motufun ala um, in between and that making khufiyatan uh, hal to right but this is not wow haliya wow haliya cannot come in between hal uh, so when um how i should say that yeah so tadarrun basically uh, even in uh, uh, arab books you gonna see just tadarrun as a hal they not even gonna take wow waqfiyatan as a hal but they gonna just say that this is motufun ala to tadarrun okay yeah so this is motuf this is not uh, wow or haliya over here Okay. because the wow haliya should be before our first hal okay it okay. cannot be after okay yeah okay anyone else want to try this inna anzalna this is the easy one um should i yeah go ahead okay so um inna is like um harfu nasab indira and then anzalna hu so that is um Failu who um Anna, I suppose. Nahnu, nahnu. Nahnu. Oh yeah, it says. Wait. Yeah. No. So I talk about Anzal. So na- in so Inna is our Muktada, right? Anzal yeah. Nahu became our Khabar. Yes. Yeah. I'm. I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Because the Failu is Anna. Because there's no. Um. If it was Nahnu, then it would be Nanzal Nahu. Where is Anna? No, it's in. Uh, no, I'm talking about um. No, no, no. For like Anzal Na, the the. Yeah, word. Anzal Na is Na is the file. Hmm. This is uh, Na. Okay, I suppose so. Then yeah. who? So then that, that means who? That means indicates that who is like um the mafud. Mafud, yeah. Yeah. So um Quran and um Ar Arabian, Arabian. So mm-hmm. um I suppose that these are um. I suppose that this is the hal. Yeah, yeah. So this is basically hal of who? Um, I wait. Um, the hal of Quran and Ara- Arabian. No. Um, hal of who? Anzal na who? You see this who? Yes. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, Yeah, so this who is Sahibul Hal over here? Yeah, because it matches in the yeah. Yeah, so Quranan and Arabian um, is basically um, yeah. Hal for who? Perfect. Okay, next one. Wakazalika Anzalna who Hukman Arabian. So again, kind of same thing. Uh, so this who is Sahibul Hal, and uh, it is describing. um arabian or even we can take hukman right so it is uh, full of wisdom and uh, it is in uh, arabic language okay then we have multiple hal in a sentence that going to happen so let's see in this example tarahum you see them how you see them ruka an so this is maful hal one sujadan number two then yaptaguna fadlan min allah so this is our hal number three and then wow came this is our ataf and then ridwana still it is hal but this is motufun ala so see there when we are saying that there are multiple hal you not gonna see any connector in between okay 
So when we don't see any connector in between, then basically that can be our hall one and hall two. Even in our last example, we can say Hukman is hall number two and Arabian hall number, uh, sorry, hall one and hall two. Okay, so this is what gonna happen. Then why is a Kamu Ilaswalati when they uh, stand in Salah? How they stand? Kamu Kusala. So this is our hall number one. So they stand how? Kusala. Then number two is Yura Unan Nasa. And they are showing off uh, to the people in Salah. So we have two hall over here. Then Wala Ya Tuna Salata. So they do not come to Salah illa except Wahum Kusala. So now this is our Halia over here. Wahum Kusala. So this is our Hal. And then Wala Yunfikuna. And they do not spend. So Wow came over here. So that is Ataf 2, this previous one. So basically, then we have just Hal number one because Wow came. Wala Yunfikuna illa. And they do not spend except Wahum Tarihun. Uh, with the unwillingly, uh, like forcefully. So they are not happy uh, to spend, but they are just doing it because they have uh, pressure. So this is uh, uh, one. And then um, this is from Surat uh, Sadhya. Yeah. So here, La Yunfiquna will be Ma'atuf Allah. Uh, the first uh, word, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that, yeah. So, Bala Yunfikuna illa Wahum Karihuns. The whole thing is Motufuna la to Wahum Kusala. That sentence. Isn't it? Uh, okay. So, isn't it Bala Yunfikuna is like Bala Yatuna? Uh, and then Wahum Karihun is only Han for Yunfikuna? Mm, no, but it is still describing that uh, their condition, right? So their one thing yeah. is that they are lazy. The other thing is uh, then when we, they are spending, they are uh, unwillingly spending, right? So still, yeah, it I is, was... yeah. So still, ya tuna has whom in it. Either we can take this way that uh, they are going back to this home. Okay. So this basically whom is our sahibul hal over here. And uh, this sentence mm -hmm. is referring to this home and the rest of the things are referring to this home. Okay. Yeah. And is this or, uh, or right if we can think like this? Sorry? If he say, Wala is this right if I say, if we say, Wala yatuna salah, they don't uh, come to the prayer. And then the hal of this, how they coming to prayer is kusala. And they don't spend, and the hal for not spend, uh, of their spending is that they are karihun. Can we say this? Wala like yunfikuna illa. Yeah, you are right. You have a point over here. Okay, we can double check uh, in our, uh, uh, in some uh, era book. So this is uh, Ayah 54 over here uh, from Surah Toba. So we can check in okay. our era book and uh, we can confirm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. So then we have Surat Sajida over here. Uh, Innama yu minuna bi ayati uh, nalazina iza zukki rubiha. So uh, uh, when inama only you minona the believer the one who believes piyatina in our ayat are those is a dukirubiha when these ayat are mentioned um, uh, before them what gonna happen haru so this is hal number one sujadan hal number two and then wasabahu bihamdi rabbihim now wow came so now it is motofunala so we have two hal over here. And Wahum La Yastakbirun. So this is the whole sentence is Wahul Halia over here. Okay, so basically they, that can be a separate hal. Then we have Tata Jafa Junubuhum Anil Madwaji Yaduna Rabbahum Khaufan Watama'an. 
wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiqun so again uh, yad'una rabbahum so they call their rabb how khawfan and then mutufun ala basically it is come so we can say just uh, take it as a one hal okay so this is how uh, in multiple uh, hal can be over there then our hal can be file knife file mafulun bihi even muktada even khabar okay so mafulun bihi now look at the example daraba hamidun waladahu maghduban so hamid hit his child maghduban now maghduban describing who waladu or hamidun it is describing hamidun walad no no walad was not maghdub who is angry yeah, yeah, yeah. The father so, was angry. Yeah. yeah, so Hamid is angry, right? So that is basically Hal, and we can see that this Hal is Mufulun Bihi over here. Then Muptada. The example of Muptada is Atiflu Fil Urfati Naiman. So the child uh, is in the room, Naiman sleeping. Now Naiman describing who? Orfa or Tifal? Tifal, right? So this is a basically Muptada over here and the Naiman is our Hal over here. Then it can be Khabar. And another example for Muptada over here, Wakul Nahbitu. And we uh, commanded them that you descend Ba'dukum Libadin Aduun. So we told them, so this is our fail file and this is our um, uh, like a mahulul call, right? Then baadukum libadin is a separate sentence and baadukum is our muptada. This is our MBK and aduun is our khabar. So this baadukum uh, is uh, uh, half for uh, th this is basically Zuhal and uh, Aduun is uh, the Hal, right? So some of you are the sen uh, enemy of some. So as our uh, Zuhal or Sahibul Hal is Muqtada over here. Then uh, Khabar, uh, the example of Khabar is Haza uh, Badru. Tali an. Uh, Tali an is rising, right? And Badr mean the moon is rising. So over here, the Badru is Khabar and Tali an is describing the uh, Badr over here. So that can be the example of Khabar. Then these are very easy examples and you're going to see in Quran Pak a lot when we have uh, Vau Halia. So and these are easy. Inshallah, you guys can figure it out. So just re read them uh, in your time. And then uh, hal can be hal mu'akkida, meaning a hal which uh, sports already stated condition. So for example, fata basama. What is tabassum mean? Like uh, uh, um, uh, smiling, right? Fata Bassama, this is uh, talking about Hazrat Suleiman al Islam. So he smiled, Dahikan, and again, Dahikan is kind of same meaning, smiled or be happy, Min Kauliha, on her, at her speech. So this is, uh, he was smiling at uh, Anne's uh, speech, what she was doing is saying, right, when um, the army of Hazrat Suleiman was passing by. And uh, the ant was telling uh, its uh, company that uh, let's move out of the way. So fata basama, and then dahikan. So we can see that okay, they are kind of uh, uh, this dahikan basically sporting the already uh, uh, condition which is uh, mentioned over here. 
And then uh, another example is Kulu. So you all eat Vashrabu and drink Mir Rizkillahi from the risk of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Wala Ta'asaw. So Ta'asaw, what is Ta'asaw? Basically, this is Asa, Ya'asu. And then command will be Su, right? And this is, uh, that means Afsada. So same meanings like Mufsidina. So Afsada Yufsidu, uh, Ifsadan Fahuwa Mufsidun, right? So it has same meaning like uh, uh, doing corruption, causing corruption, doing something bad. So basically this Taso is uh, uh, supporting Mufsidina. So uh, this is our Hal Mufsidina and this is our uh, Zuhal over here. Okay, so these are things, and then I have some extra notes over here. Uh, but uh, do you guys think that we should go all uh, together with these notes, or you can do on your own? I think together would be more beneficial. Okay, you're not gonna spare me, huh, Alkans? We can try ourselves. My baby. <laughs> you guys are babies, huh? I need to spoon feed you guys. We can try on our own sister and then ask you a question maybe next uh, class if you... Okay, uh, you know what? Just uh, I'm going to go through just a few examples on every page and the mm. rest we can uh, do it on your own time, okay? So, Jumla uh, Ismiya as a hal. So, it will have wow in most of the cases. So whenever uh, we see that uh, our hal is a sentence, then what gonna happen? You're gonna find a vow over there. So if uh, it will have a vow in most cases, some says it's, uh, it must start with vow. So it, some say that it always have to have start with vow, but this is not the case. There are going to be some exceptions too. So mostly, but not always, will start with a pronoun. So the pronoun we see that some gonna sometimes it gonna be there and sometimes it not gonna be there. So let's see some example now. Man amila swalihan. So whoever do amila swalihan good deeds means akarin from the man wa auunsa or from the ladies wahu wa minun. So what do you see over here? Wahu wa muminun. So our wow is here, um, which is vowel halia over here. So basically, and this sentence is vowel halia over here. And this hua, we can see where it is going back to. Uh, referee pronoun, I think. Not referee pronoun. Uh, I'm talking about Aid over here. So this basically man has hua in it, right? So this uh, hua, uh, so basically this uh, man is sahibul hal, right? So it is describing um, uh, this man over here. So this is our sahibul hal. And the whole sentence over here is our um, jumla halia. Then again, Vamai Yamal Minaswali Hati, and whoever does Minaswali Hati from uh, good deeds, Min Zakarin, and again from man, Aunsa, Wahua Minun. So now, kind of same concept over here. So, Man is our Sahibul Hal over here, and Wahua Muminun is our. Then, wala talbisu haqqa bil baatili. So, talbisu, what do we have in talbisu? Anshan, right? Wala talbisu haqqa bil baatili. Wa taqtumu haqqa wa antum. So, basically, wa antum talamun. So, again, this is our whole sentence is halia. And our sahibul hal is antum over here. Right? And then it says, Exception or rasul at the beginning of Jumla Ismiya Halia. Wama lakum la 
so now um, this is the uh, basically a new sentence starting here var rasulu and rasul why i am saying that uh, this rasulu is uh, uh, starting a new sentence because if it is related to if it was like was wrong with you that you do not believe in allah and in rasul then it what should be the status of this rasul there jar jar right so it's not the case so that means it is starting a new sentence over here okay so basically var rasulu yad'ukum so this is rasulu which has who i in it right um var rasulu yad'ukum he calls you litu'minu that you believe bi rabbikum in your rabb wa qad akhaza misaqakum and certainly misaq or uh, uh, the covenant is uh, taken from you in kuntum mu'minin if you guys are believer so war rasul yad'ukum i think that can be the hal of uh, uh, rasul like he is calling you guys so because yadu has who in it right war rasul yad'ukum litu'minu bi rabbikum and then waqad akhaza this whole sentence is uh, uh, halia too and you have been uh, taken a covenant from allah subhanahu wa taala so and we know that in uh, when he, we have fail madi right so our halia gonna start with qad or waqad so basically this is what it is telling us Okay, it's very was... uh, it's scary, Shahrad. Like, if you don't pay attention, like I was blindly, I was thinking Allah and Rasul, uh, but uh, I didn't notice the the. Mark. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, wait, I mean, one, uh, one question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, the question. Oh, sorry, Kamil, you are asking question. I thought you wanted to clarify what I said. No, no, no. Um, so when it says uh, exceptions, when it begins with Rasul, like um, exception to which rule specifically? No, I didn't get your question, my dear. No, because it says exception Rasul at the beginning of Jumla Ismiya. Exception to which rule? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, these are not my notes. I taken from someone. So exception a Rasulu at beginning of Jumla Ismiya Halia. So basically, it is saying that this is Jumla Ismiya, uh, but it is starting with wow. Yeah, exactly. Starting with wow, so I'm unsure as to how this would be an exception. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, I'm gonna ask uh, mm, uh, that question to uh, whose these uh, notes belongs to. Okay. So I just okay. uh, didn't notice that uh, uh, something that we can stuck with that. Okay. Okay, now uh, sometimes both are present. What what is it is talking about? Wow, halia. So when we have wow halia, then we know that there can be some ayat, right? The pronoun which is referring to uh, sahibul hal, going back to uh, sahibul hal. So sometimes both are present, meaning wow can be present and ayat can be present, and we see that examples uh, in our lesson, right? Uh, now let's see some more over here. Where uh, where will we see wow halia? So in jumla, filia uh, madi. If your hal is madi, your jumla will start with qad or waqad. And if there is ayat in fil madi, you may not have wow there. If there is ayat in your madi, then so basically, it is saying that uh, sometimes you will not see wow, but uh, I gonna be there. Okay. 
so let's say wa in talaq tu muhuna min qabli so if you uh, divorce ladies min qabli before an tamassuhunna that you touch them wa qad faradtum lahunna farida and what was the condition that uh, um, that their farida their haq mahar their uh, uh, dowry was already uh, like you already fixed uh, the dowry but you didn't touch uh, like uh, um, uh, like marriage didn't uh, consummated yet right so then what gonna happen funnies fu then half ma faratum what you had fixed illa except ayyafuna so this yafuna is basically hunna if these ladies uh, forgive aw yafu allazi or forgive the one bi yadihi ugdatan nikahi in whose hand is the nikah meaning the man so basically waqad faratum lahunna farida so this is our jumla haliya over here and we see that uh, this is fail madi right starting with waqad over here and uh, lahunna has hunna in it and tamassu hunna basically this has hunna over even talaqtu muhunna right so this is all describing to these ladies the uh, those who are divorced then qala rabbi anna yakunu li ghulamun wa qad balaghani al kibaru wa amrati akir so again um ya rabbi anna yakunu li so li i can have ghulamun wa qad balaghani al kibaru so it has i in it right so this is our sahibul hal over here waqad balaghani al kibaru and i have reached the kibar the old age so again this is our the whole sentence is our here uh, then fil mutariya if your sentence is mutariya positive uh, sentence then no vow is needed aid is aid in mudariya is sufficient as a rabit so hazihi jahannam allati yukazzibu biha almujrimun so this is the jahannam which you used to deny almujrimun so this is the mujrimun yatufuna so next aya yatufuna bainaha wa baina hamiminan so basically this the whole sentence is describing the hal of mujrimun so how Um, they will be doing they were just uh, be around between these uh, scalding water and heated uh, water right so mujrimuna has whom in it yatufuna has whom in it so they are going and we see that we don't have any vow in between wait am i have one question hmm What is by mudari a positive sentence? What is meant by positive in this case? Like there is no negative. It's not like saying uh, don't do that. It's not uh, 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 like uh, pro- prohibition or you know that uh, sometimes ma or la. So these kind of words are not there. And the movement by a rabbit. Rabbit is basically the pronoun or the I going back. to our sahibul hal okay so for, for example al mujrimun what is al mujrimun how i'm going to label this mujrimun this is our sahibul hal right this is the one who is being described and then this yatufuna basically this is our whole sentence is our hal so this whom in this yatufuna is our basically we can say Uh, this is the pronoun or this is the aid or this is the rabit right so these whom and whom so they are kind of uh, rabit to each other they are kind of uh, corresponding to each other right so they are aid okay just a call khair yeah okay then we have am hasim tum antadkhulul jannata wa lamma yalam allah allazina jahadu minkum 
So am hasiptum, do you think an tadkhulul jannata that you will enter jannah walamma yala mallahu lazina while what what happened that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even did not test you yet. Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yala mallahu lazina, he does not know. It's not like he does not know by knowledge, rather it he didn't test you enough. Allazina, those jahadu who did jihad, minkum among you. Okay, so basically, um, uh, uh, this sentence over here uh, is the hal. Hal of who? Antum. So, am hasibtum, do you think? Antat hulul jannata walamma yalam Allah lazina jahadu minkum? Making sense, right? So this is... Uh, okay, if your sentence is Madi, and you, do you see that uh, um, Kamil, now this is the sentence, if your sentence is Manfi Mudariya, so that is Manfi, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not test you yet. So this is negative, example of negative sentence over here. Starting with lamma, so it will generally have wow in it. So wa lamma. Ya lamma Allahu lazina jahadu. Wa ya lamma swabirin. Okay, then it says if your sentence is manfi mudariya. So again, it is negative and it is mudariya. Starting with lam, because lam the, give the meanings of not, right? It is permissible to omit wow. So meaning that uh, you're not going to see wow sometimes. So qalat rabbi anna yakunu li waladun walam yamsasni bashar. Qalat rabbi. So she said, Hazrat Maryam al-Islam, rabbi anna, how come yakunu li, I can have waladun, a child, walam yamsasni bashar, while Nobody has touched me. So what is it saying? If your sentence is manfi mudariya, because lam is there, it is permissible to omit wow. So, but wow is over here. Huh? Hmm. Okay. I um, I need. I, I think I need to ask a question about that too. Okay, so uh, inshallah, um, uh, if we have time next class, we're going to go these uh, notes uh, one more time uh, with the clarification. Then we have Fanzur ilato amika wa sharabika lam yatasanna. So Fanzur, you look, look what ilato amika wa sharabika lam yatasanna. Okay, so now over here, wow is there. But you see, lam yatasanna, the vow is not here. So basically, it is a, uh, again, sometimes you're going to see vow when it is manfi mudariya. And sometimes you're not going to see vow. Basically, this is what it is saying. Now we get it, right? Yeah. This Wait, is um, yeah. I have one more question. Second sentence, yeah. 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 Yes, Kamil? Oh, okay. So, so you went to, um, so, um, so essentially, so is so there's essentially two sahib al hals because it's ta'amika or sharabika? No, it has wow, right? So the so essentially they're sahib both sahib al hal. Ta'amika, uh, your food, right? And sharabika is motufun uh, Allah. So we're going to take just ta'amika as a hal, ah, not okay. sharabika, okay? Because this is motufun Allah. So we're gonna say this ta'am, uh, basically, uh, this is our sahibul hal. Ah, okay. Okay, so this is our sahibul hal, and lam yatasanna is uh, going back to this uh, sahibul hal. Okay. Okay, the next one says that fun uh, qalabu. So you all, uh, so they return. Okay, so this is our uh, Felun Madin Failuhu, whom 
fun kalab kalabus so they return bi nimatin with the favor min allah from allah wa fadlin and special bounty right lam yamsas husu and see again wow is not there lam yamsas husu un and no harm uh, having touched them wata bauridwan allah wa allah zu fadli lazim okay so that is the case over here then la nafia what about it if sentence is mudariya manfi that start with la it will not have wow okay so we see that when we have lam there was a choice sometimes we see wow and sometimes we didn't see wow but it is saying when we have la then it will not have wow so let's see wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum and allah uh, brings you out min butuni from the uh, tummy ummahatikum of your mother la ta'lamuna shay'an while you do not know anything right so we don't see any wow over here so in that case it would be really hard for us to find out hal right so but we need to remember these rules then when it is uh, mudariya and it is negative and we have lam as a negative uh, particle then we will not see wow over there basically it is what is saying right okay last one alhamdulillah manafia so manafia is the same like la um, like give the meaning of uh, la right negative so if your sentence is negative starting with ma it will start with wow so you khadiun allah so they try to deceive allah subhanahu wa taala wallazina and those amanu who believed wama yakhdauna illa anfusahum wama yashuru so uh, this is starting with ma, uh, wow over here so basically this is wow al haliya over here wadda taifatun min ahli al kitab so taifatun min like a group so a group min ahli al kitab from ahli al kitab they wish what do they wish law you dilluna kum that they uh, let you go astray they make you go astray wama you dilluna illa anfusahum wama yashuru but they do not mislead except themselves and they uh, do not perceive it jumla ismiya when it comes as a hal it uh, may not have aid again aid mean pronoun in this case it should have wow halia so basically either it going to have a pronoun or wow halia when it is jumla ismia one should be present the placement of wow if pronoun refers to sahibul hal uh, is at beginning sentence it will have wow halia before pronoun so yaquluna they say alallahi against allah kazib alai wa hum yalamun so wow halia is over here if pronoun referring to sahibul hal is not at beginning wow halia can be omitted jaat zainabu wajhaha mutahalli lun so we see we don't have wow halia over here wait a minute when by if the pronoun referring to sahib al hal is at the beginning of the sentence which sentence the main sentence or jama or the or the hal jama ismia if pronoun referring to sahib al hal so if like isn't that isn't the pronoun referring to sahib al hal the aid mm, let me see okay if pronoun referring to sahibul hal uh, so who is sahibul hal over here zainab um, right 
In which sentence? In the last sentence, right? So Zainab uh -huh. is sahibul hal over here. So Zainab came while her face was radiant. So who is sahibul hal? Zainab, right? So yeah. Zainab is our sahibul hal over here, which is here. So if pronoun referring to sahibul hal is not at the beginning, like it is not uh, starting a sentence, then wow halia can be omitted. Oh, okay. Okay, so since it is not starting a sentence, rather it is in the middle of the sentence, then you're not going to see wow halia basically. So there are uh, um, like uh, so many rules to follow, but uh, I did in a very detail, may not be some of, uh, um, of us are not there. Even um, uh, some information was very new for me even because I never pay attention to this, uh, 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 this hall in that uh, detail. So inshallah, that is our learning together. Uh, so do not worry about all this information, inshallah, as we keep eye when we are reciting our quran -e Park. So inshallah, that will come to us. Okay. So, but I will highly recommend that uh, you guys can see um, and uh, listen to this uh, recording at least uh, one or uh, uh, twice. Okay. So in maybe in small intervals. Just see how much you can absorb. So go through it, uh, this recording, and inshallah, it will start making sense. And if uh, we still have any question, then you guys are going to ask, and inshallah, we're going to uh, figure it out. So inshallah, um, that's going to end our session. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al hakim wa nafani. وَإِيَّاكُمْ بِآيَاتٍ وَالذِّكْرِ الْحَكِيمِ سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ وَبِهَمْدِكَ نَشْهَدُونَ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ وَنَسْتَغْفِرُكَ وَنَتُوبُ إِلَيْكَ